Alright, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you the seated leg curl. So the difference between a seated and a lying leg curl is when you're in a seated position, you're flexed at the hip. What that does is stretches the hamstring, whereas in a lying position, you're extending the hip. So hips push hamstring more in the shoulder range. This hits it in the stretch position. When you set this exercise up, you want to make sure the pad is just at the back of your ankle. And you want to have this as high as you possibly can, so you can give a maximum stretch to the hamstring. Now, stick your chest out, which will further stretch the hamstring. Again, like with a seated variation, if you point your toes in, you'll hit the inner fibers more. If you point your toes neutral, you'll get more medial fibers. If you point your toes out, you'll get more to the outer fibers. So I'm just going to demonstrate with neutral. I'm going to use dorsiflex position, chest out, bring it down to a full squeeze, and then back to a full stretch. Okay? That's how you perform a seated leg curl.